my name is Candice, aka Picasso Baby, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create your very own glam hands. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for stopping back by to paint with me today. So today I am going to be showing you how to create something super fun and flirty. Um, I had a request earlier in the year for glam hands and I never got to them. I can't remember who requested this, but I hope you see this because today we are going to be creating glam hands for day three of five days of Christmas with Picasso Baby. And we are going to be using supplies sent over to me by Hippie Crafter. They sent me over a set of 20 different acrylic paints and also some 9 by 12 inch canvases. So I'm going to be using a few of their paints today and also their canvases. So before we get started, as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss the next tutorial. All right, so like I said, today we're going to be creating glam hands. So I'm going to go over everything that you need for today. I am going to be using a 9 by 12 inch canvas. Remember, you can use the canvas size of your choice. It's completely up to you. We are going to be doing some drawing today. So you do want to make sure that you have a pencil or a black marker. I do suggest using a pencil first, just in case you need to make any changes or erase anything, and then you can always go over it with the marker. But if you're fine with using marker first, grab yourself a black Sharpie marker and for your drawing, because we're gonna draw first. But then also, as always, you wanna make sure that you have some different size acrylic brushes. And, but then all, all but then also, as always, you want to make sure that you have some different size acrylic brushes, some napkins to dry your brushes off on, and a water cup with cold water to wash your brushes. You want to also make sure that you grab a plate or a palette for your paint. And the colors I'm going to be using today from the Hippie Crafter are Titanium White. I'm going to be using some Mars Black. I am also going to use Scarlet. I have some Viridian, which is a really, really pretty green. And then I also have today Burnt Sienna. So you want to make sure you have all your supplies. And then we're going to get started drawing first. So I, again, I'm going to start drawing first. I'm using my Sharpie marker. You can use a pencil first. It's completely up to you. But the first thing I want to do is I want to draw on her face. She's going to have her hand like up on her shoulder giving very much glamour but she's also going to have on like a turtleneck because it's cold outside as you can see i'm in michigan so if you don't know if you're in the midwest then you know about this arctic storm that we're having that we're really not having but we are it's pretty cold today um so you, we're going to be making her warm um so what i'm going to do first i am going to start not at the very middle of my canvas but just a little over from the midway point and I'm going to curve a line down and over for her face because I want her face to be halfway off the canvas. I'm also going to go in and do a little curve right up there for her ear. Now, because half of her face is showing, of course, I don't have to add too many facial details, but I am going to go in and add her mouth. And I want it to look like her mouth is kind of open, like maybe she's smiling or talking or just, you know, giving a nice little glamour shot. So I am going to first do a curve, almost like the top of an M, like the top of an M arch. And then I'm going to pull it back like that. And then I'm going to go straight into the canvas. From that curve, I'm going to start from that corner I made and I'm going to do a curve down. That's going to be the opening of her mouth. And I'm going to do another curve. Now, if you want your, her, your mouth to be closed, you can leave it just like that because that'll give you two lips. But if you want it to be open like I'm going to be doing, I'm going to start back at that corner. I'm going to do a curve underneath there. So we have the top lip opening, bottom lip. Now from there, I am going to go in and I'm going to do two curves from the side of her face there as if it's like a little turtleneck. Now, if you don't want to do a turtleneck, you can always just do a line down for like an actual neck or however you like to do it. It's completely up to you. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of pull a very soft line 
over like it's her shoulder. And again, because I'm doing like a turtleneck or a sweater, I'm not making it too strict. If you are not doing a turtleneck or, or sweater, you can make sure that your line is more, is not as bumpy. It's more like at a nice curve there, not so bumpy. But I am going to end up drawing over that line because I'm going to be doing her hands. So for her hands, the first thing that I want to do, I'm going to start from the bottom here. And I'm going to almost make like a little cut off um, rectangle or square. So I'm going to do an angled line there. And I'm not exactly at the corner. I'm a bit over from the corner. And then from that line, I'm going to pull a line over. And you see how it has a slight curve to it? Or you can go straight across. Completely up to you. And then from that line there, I'm going to repeat this first line that I had. But of course, it's going to be shorter. So we have the little piece of her um, arm or her wrist area right there. Now I want to take, so because her hand is like, almost like this, I'm not gonna really worry about a thumb, but I'm gonna take a line up, kind of going towards her turtleneck. And then before I even get close to the turtleneck, I'm gonna start to curve over towards her shoulder and pull it right off of her arm of her shoulder so you see how it went right into the background area now from there i'm going to do a curve to create her nail now keep in mind if you want to shape the nail differently you can shape it however you like but doing that shape first like a little half almond is going to help me go back in and make a finger and you see i did pull that made a curve and pulled it back into the sweater now I'm going to do the second finger. For the second finger, I'm going to come down into the sweater again. I'm going to come out. This time I'm going to curve over a bit more. Then I'm going to repeat that step with the nail. And same step with bringing the finger back in. Now for the next finger, because our hands are kind of curving over, so those uh, smaller fingers are kind of starting to close in together, this time I don't have to come back in for it. I'm just going to use the bottom of this finger here. And I'm going to pull a line straight out. And then I'm going to make that nail again. And same thing, pull the finger back in. Now for the pinky, I don't want it touching all the way. If you want yours to touch, you can repeat that step again. But I'm actually going to go back into the sweater, pull a line out, curve it over just a bit. Create the nail. And now, this time, I am going to go back down to the wrist area. And now, you have your glamour hand. You have your girl in her turtleneck. And it's time to start painting. So the first thing I'm going to start to do, I am going to actually fill in all of her skin tone first. Because I'm going to end up adding two layers on that. Because I really want the color um, to pop, even though... Uh, Hippie Crafters acrylic paint is already very much vibrant um, and definitely opaque as well. I'm just going to end up doing two layers just to make sure it's really smooth, but also that it's really popping. Um, so I am going to use my burnt sienna as is. Remember, if you want to make your own shade, you can always lighten it up by mixing it with white or you can uh, make it a little bit darker by mixing it with some of your black. And once you have the shade that you want, you're gonna fill in her ear, her face going around her lips, and then also her hand and fingers. I'm not gonna do anything to her nails, but I am going to go over that line that was going through the, nail, the fingers, make sure you paint right over that, and I'm gonna fill in her hand completely, but I'm not gonna fill in her wrist. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of that filled in and then we'll move to the next step in just a few. All right, so I thought that I 
was going to end up going over this with a second coat but honey hippie crafters acrylic paint is so opaque um and just so that girl so vibrant that i don't need to go over with a second coat you can't even see like the lines that were going through the fingers you can't even see them so i'm definitely not going over that with a second coat but what i am going to do now i'm going to go ahead and wash my brush out because i'm going to keep using this same brush or you can switch to a medium sized flat brush and you want to make sure whenever you're washing brushes off that you dry them off really well um, but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of my white right on my plate and i'm going to take some of my black and i want to make a gray for my background now if you want a different color for your background remember it's completely up to you this is your glam hands um, so you can do whatever color you'd like and i'm actually going to add just a little bit of water to this again um i am working with heavy body acrylic paint so it's not as fluid as i'm used to so i add just a little bit of water and mix it in really well just to get it um kind of a little bit smoother and easier to work with even though it does glide right on the canvas don't get me wrong at all i just like my paint a little more fluid um so once you have the shade or the color that you are going to use all you're going to do is start to paint your entire background so everything around the face making sure you get between the fingers now when you're doing this part don't forget towards the very end or the very inner corners of the finger there is some of the sweater in there or some of the shirt in there don't paint those parts with the background color you want to leave those parts for now because those are going to end up being the sweater color but what you can do um, is if you need to switch to a smaller brush to get closer to the fingers and get in those little crevices you definitely can um, but you just want to make sure that you don't paint the actual sweater just yet only the background and we're going to work on this part for a few and then we'll move to the next step in a few together Now, once you finish up with the entire background and you have all of that filled in, while I did switch over to my smallest brush to get in those smaller parts. So while I still have that brush and I'm using a smaller pointed or a smaller round brush, um, while I still have that, I am going to fill in the small parts of my sweater because I am going to start to do my turtleneck or my sweater next. Um, again, you can do yours the color that you want, but I am going to be using this Viridian color that I have. So this really pretty green reminds me of the holidays. Um, I'm going to be using this to get in those little corners first. So I'm just getting in all of those corners. I am also going to go ahead and fill in the sleeve here. And the reason I'm going to fill this sleeve in first is because I want to make the sleeve a little bit lighter. Um, that way you can tell the difference between the sleeve and the actual and the rest of the shirt. So I'm going to start to pick up some white with my Viridian to make this just a bit lighter. More so like around the um, edges of it. So like where we did the drawing where we had the marker lines or pencil lines that's where i really want it to be a little bit lighter and then for the rest i'm going to go back in with the meridian Now that I have all of that filled in, I'm going to go and you can go back to your um, medium round brush or you can go to more of a medium or bigger flat brush to get the rest of it completely filled in. So this time I'm not doing any um, white 
or anything to it. I'm going back into my original color, so back into my meridian to get this all filled in. Now, before I finish up with this uh, with my turtleneck, I am going to add a little bit of white to the actual turtleneck too so that it doesn't blend so much into the rest of the shirt or sweater. Um, and this part's optional. It's completely up to you. But I'm just going to pick up a little bit of white and on that first layer that we had there and then the second layer as well. Just kind of curving that over, keeping the same shape, but making it a bit lighter. And if you want to see that in other areas, you can add it wherever you like just to kind of give your painting a little pop, you know? Um, but once you are finished with that, the next thing we are gonna go into, we're gonna go into the mouth area and the lips. Now, for the mouth, I'm gonna go back to a bit of a smaller brush, but I'm going back to a smaller flat brush. And I wanna do the inside of the mouth first. So I do want some teeth to show, not both rows, more so just the top, so I'm putting a little bit of white towards the top of the inside. So you had that top lip, you had the inside, and then you had the bottom lip. I'm putting some white in the inside there, and then I'm going to wipe that white off, and I'm going to take just a little bit of black and pull a little line across there and fill the rest in with black. Right. Now, I'm going to also fill the lips in, but I'm going to use um, more of, you can keep using the same brush or you can go back into um, the smaller brush that we were using to get into like the corners of things. So I'm going to go back into that smaller brush and I actually want to do more of a nude lip. If you want to do a red lip, pink lip, whatever color you like, it's completely up to you. But I'm going to be mixing up a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, a little bit of white to get more of a nude color. Um, I want it to kind of match my skin tone, but not exactly. So that's why I'm mixing up red, brown, and white. And just keep in mind, the more white you add, the lighter it will be. And once you have the shade that you want, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in both bottom and top lips. your nails to be an actual design I suggest laying out um, your base coat first just like any nails lay out your butt your base coat let it dry and then you can go back and put designs on top I am actually just going to be using one solid color um, since it's Christmas and this is our third day of five days of Christmas with Picasso baby I'm gonna actually do red nails since we got the green sweater um, the lips are nude. I am going to do some red nails for a little pop. And I'm still using my smallest brush. And I'm using scarlet red paint for my nails. Now remember, if you want to shape your nails differently, you can make them whatever shape you like. Uh, 
All right, now once you have your nails on, again, if you are doing um, any designs, just do your base coat first and then let it dry for a few before you add any designs. But what I'm gonna do before I take a quick drying break, I'm gonna add um, some outlines just to kind of split some things up. And I'm gonna keep using my smallest brush, but I'm gonna actually mix a little water with it. Because again, whenever I'm trying to make lines or anything like that, I want the paint to be a little bit more fluid so that it's easier to kind of glide right on there. So I'm just mixing a little water into my black paint, making sure that it's mixed in really well so it doesn't like run down my painting. You, you've gotten this far in the painting, you don't want the water running down it. Um, so you wanna mix it in really well and then you're gonna go back with your small brush, your little detail brush. And I'm gonna be doing a few things. Um, I am gonna come in and kind of do a quick outline between the face and the ear now if you want to outline the entire thing you definitely can it's up to you i'm just going to be doing some quick outlines so i'm just kind of outlining between the face and the ear i'm going to outline the ear as well if you want to outline the lips you can but you definitely don't have to i'm going to do a quick line across the bottom and a quick line at the top there. And of course, I'm gonna come in and do a quick outline between the layers of the turtleneck. And again, you can see I'm not outlining everything. I'm just doing really quick outlines um, just to help it stand out more and clean it up a bit. Same thing for the hands. Um, I'm not going to do any outlines on my nails at all, but I am going to kind of do some outlines on my fingers, specifically where my fingers kind of meet at, just doing some quick outlines and also like the back of my hand as well. I'm going to come down and do some around the wrist area. between my fingers here. All right, now what you have, actually I'm gonna All right, now once you have everything outlined the way that you want, and again, I didn't do a complete outline. I just kind of outlined in some areas I felt was necessary um, just to kind of make everything pop out more. So once you finish up with that step, we are going to add a few more details, but before we do that, we have to let it dry completely. So as always, make sure you take about a 10 to 15 minute break. That way it can dry completely. Or if you don't want to take a break, you can always grab a blow dryer and blow dry it on the cool setting. So we're just gonna take a break and then we'll come back and start on the next step together in a few. One eternity later. All right, so now that our paintings are completely dry, I'm gonna add a few more details. Of course, it wouldn't be glam if we didn't have, you know, some jewelry on there. So I'm gonna add in an earring, a couple of bracelets, and also a ring. Now, keep in mind, again, this is your painting. You can add absolutely whatever details you'd like. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to take some of my white and I'm gonna make myself a nice little rock on one of my fingers. You can choose which finger is completely up to you, but I am just going to make a little circle. And I, again, I'm using white. You can use the color of your choice. And yes, I'm gonna put a band through there as well. But I wanna get my rock on there first. All right now, now that I have that, I am going to take a little bit more of my black and white mixture. If you don't have any more, of course, you can just mix up some more black and white. Or um, if you want more of like a gold or white gold, you can add a little bit of yellow 
um, like yellow and white or yellow, a little bit of black and white to make more of a uh, white gold. But I'm gonna do more of a silver and I am going to make a line right on the side here and I do want it to kind of go off there. I'm gonna do a little hint of it over on this side as well. Just a little hint of it, nothing too crazy. And then I'm gonna go back into my white and kind of overlap where I did the bands. And to give it more of a, kind of like it has, um, a, like it's a diamond, of course, um, I am going to take a little bit of that black and white mixture, a little bit of my gray, and I'm gonna kind of make dots all over the ring. Now, if you don't want this detail, remember this is your painting, you can do it however you like but that just kind of gives it a little extra oomph and i'm going to go back in with some white just white and do the same texture so just making those dots um now for my bracelets i'm going to use black and white as well like a silver um and i am just simply going to pull lines so i'm not starting right on the wrist i'm actually going outside of the wrist pull the line across to the other side and again you see i went outside of the wrist if you want to switch it up and do actual charms on the bracelet if you want to do um if you want to do a watch it's completely up to you i am going to do just one little bracelet actually this is this is glamorous let's turn this into a designer bracelet I'm gonna make this more of a Cartier bracelet. And I'm gonna do that by simply taking, while I still have the gray on there, I'm gonna take a little bit of black on my brush and I'm gonna kinda go through and make circles. And I wanna do this with black and do it while the paint is still wet because those circles that are on the Cartier bracelet is kinda more like impressions um, like it's more impressed in there. So that's what I want it to look like. Um, if you want to do it with white to make it look like a, Car a Cartier bracelet with the diamonds on it, you definitely can. I just want it to look like a regular silver one. So I am just going through and making those circles. And before I finish with my jewelry, I'm gonna take the back end of my brush, a little bit of white paint, and I'm gonna give myself some earrings. So I'm gonna do one dot at the end of my ear, and I'm gonna do a small dot right above it as if, you know, double piercing. Um, actually, I've, I've made my girl look like me today, y'all. I can't lie. She, she's, she's giving me vibes. I'm just not, you know, as decked out right now. <laughs> but once you are completely done with that and you have all of the details that you would like, the very last thing you want to make sure to do is just simply sign in your name. So you want to sign your signature or your initials right in the corner or wherever you'd like. You can even sign the back of the canvas if you, if you want to. Um, it's completely up to you. But once you have signed your painting and you're done with all your details, you now have your very own Glam Hands painting. Thank you all so, so much for painting with me today and for tuning in to day three of five days of Christmas with Picasso, baby. And thank you to Hippie Crafter for this beautiful paint and for the canvases as well. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss day four. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.